This is going to be a video to help you with order of operations. The specific type of order of operation problem we're going to work on here in this video is where I have one expression divided by another expression. The example I'm using is negative 9 minus 3 times 6 divided by negative 5 minus 2 squared. Now there's going to be a series of steps that I always do to solve these types of problems. The steps are as follows. First I'm going to solve for the top. After I solve for the top, I'm going to solve for the bottom. And then after I've solved for both of those, I'm just going to divide. Let's work on the first problem and solve for the top. So the top expression is negative 9 minus 3 times 6. I'm going to solve this using order of operations. The two operations I have are subtraction and multiplication. So since multiplication is higher in the order of operations, I'm going to do that first. I'm going to take 3 times 6, which is 18, and then the rest of the problem is going to stay the same. After I do that, I have negative 9 minus 18. Now, I like to change my subtraction to addition problems by adding the opposite. So when I change it to addition, it's going to be negative 9 plus negative 18. Now to solve the top, I just add them. Since the signs are the same, I'm going to add. And since it's negative, it's going to be a negative 27. Now let's solve the bottom. The bottom expression is 5 minus 2 squared. The first thing I'm going to do is exponents because that, because that comes before subtraction. So I have 2 squared, which is going to be 4, and the rest of the problem is going to stay the same. So I'm left with negative 5 minus 4. Let's change that problem to addition because it's easier to change subtraction problems to addition by adding the opposite. So when I add the opposite, it's going to become negative 5 plus negative 4. Now the two numbers are working together. When I'm adding them, I just add 5 and 4. And since they're both negative, my answer is negative 9. I'm almost done. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my top and divide it by the bottom. So my top is negative 27. And I'm going to divide that by negative 9. And since the signs are the same, my answer is going to be positive, And 27 divided by 9 is 3. So the answer for that problem is 3.